What's up everybody? Welcome back to another consultation and haircut. My name is Tim and in this video we're going to be showing you exactly how we curate a new hairstyle for our clients. Today we have Oliver in the chair. He found us through Reels, Instagram Reels. And he hasn't gotten a haircut for about two or three months. Can't wait to show you what I can do. Before we start, please like and subscribe. Every one of them means the world to us. Let's get started. Okay, Oliver, what brings you in? Talk to me. Um, honestly, I've been kind of getting the same haircut for a minute now, and I'm mm -hmm. just looking to like change it up a little bit. I mean, I like it sort of cleaned out. I like it like a messy clean. Right, what do you normally get? Um, I kind of get like a taper fade in the back, the taper side. fade in the back, okay. So something a little longer normally. Yeah, a little okay. longer. Um, shorter than this, obviously, right? Yeah, it's kind of a mess right now. Okay. Um, the top, mm -hmm. it thins out a lot once okay. it gets longer, so mm -hmm. I'm just trying to well, we definitely, We definitely have to take it down, right? Mm -hmm. When you say professional, um, your spiral goes to the right, so I'm going to probably recommend you something that goes uh, this way. It's also going to be beneficial for you because we're going to just maintain some uh, the length over here just to cover the corners. We have to keep the Prado Ridge this much heavier just because of the roundness of the face. Mm -hmm. um, think of an almond, right? I have the same face shape. Yep. We have to keep the sides rather square just to help you with the structure. You said a taper fade. I'm thinking something a lot shorter. What do you, how do you feel about a 0.5? Something that like shows a little bit of skin, but there's still gonna be some hair there. Works for me. Yeah, because the shorter you go, the more structure yep. can be built up here. Yep, works for me, cool. All right, let's, let's get do it. it. First, we have to fully soak the hair on top to see what we're working with. Oliver has type 2A hair, so it is more on the wavier spectrum. So in order to see its true length, simply comb through with water. In any situation where I need to retain length behind the maturing hairline for coverage, I will always first section that off. I'm combing through the hair in that section downwards and assessing the situation. After that, I take off about 2 inches to keep things shorter in order for his hair not to seem too thin. Next step is to take another section from the top and match the first cut I've made in order to add density to the hairline area. And now to get rid of some length from the rest of the hair on top, I will just split the hair in half in order to make things easier. I make sure to make blunt cuts because we want his hair to be rid of the thin ends in order to thicken up the appearance. Next, I'm going to use my scissor over comb technique around the Prado Ridge to start building that square structure for him. And once I'm done with that, I'll go ahead and use my clip over comb to remove bulk on the bottom section that I'll be fading later. This is where I'll be setting my guideline. Oliver doesn't have a lot of space, so I'll be setting the 0.5 guideline a little bit lower. Here's a tip I'll always preach. When setting guidelines, keep them soft to avoid trying so hard to remove them. Softer guidelines are done by stroking outwards as you finish setting it in. Next, I'll use my one guard opened and create a second guideline an inch above the first one. I'll always start with the guard open because sometimes it'll fade without being the next level up. And in between, if I see that line that won't go away with it open, I'll remove it with the guard closed. So same idea with the next guard, one and a half, another inch above. I'll start opened, and if I see any lines like I said before, I'm gonna go ahead and close it. And the final guard I'll be using is the two guard. And this is what I used to remove any bulk that was missed from before. Now that the fade is mostly done, we'll go into my trimmers to sharpen up his edges. After the lineup is done, 
I used my trimmers to skin the neckline and now I'm using the clippers to remove that line with no guard closed to open. Here I'm just taking off any loose hairs with scissor or comb to ensure that no hair is missed. Next, I noticed the area in the back was very choppy and dark, so I went ahead and grabbed my texturizing shears and broke up the extra weight. Just detailing some more here, making it as clean as I can for whoever is blessed with his presence. Using the one guard, then grabbing the half guard to fully remove any faint lines left from before. And here I'm just going through his hair once more to check for any loose strands that I might have missed. And then adding some texture with some slide cutting. This will break up his hair and create some lift even on days he doesn't use any product. Thank you so much for watching and if you have any questions drop them in the comments below. We'll get back to you as soon as we see it. I know, he's handsome. How do you feel Oliver? Feel great. Yes, sir. So what we gave Oliver was a 0.5 uh, skin taper on the neck. We gave him a textured comb over, uh, but the main idea was to build structure with his oval shaped face. And we maintain a good amount of length in the corners for his maturing hairline. I'll see you guys in the next one.